five. Yep. It's uh, let's see, four thirty-ish in the afternoon. Something like that. So we're here in the R and D center at Comp Cams in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, those of you guys that have been following along, you've been waiting for this, and it's been building up, and we've had a lot of you know information going out there. But if you've been, you know, you just caught on, and you're not sure what's going on. This is like a two-year-old project, almost I mean, a year and a half. Half. Yeah, I started at PRI yep. right after NHRA brought the RPM limit down to That's 1050. right. That's right. So Billy and I were having this conversation almost a couple years ago, and it was yep. like, man, those doggone guys changed the RPM limit. And we thought, well, you know, let's do it ourselves. Let's find a way to go up there. And we picked a platform that was a little more relevant and more modern. And so we might be crazy for doing this. Right. This is basically an LS7 motor. Pretty, you know, pretty much. Longer valves in it. We machined it for the shaft rocker arms. A little bit of change with it's a 60 millimeter now, yeah. but basically this is a wedge head LS7, one inch of lift, 11,000 RPM. We hope. We we hope we're about to do something that's never been done. Right. In the history of engines on the planet, and an LS7 has never gone intentionally above right. 11,000 RPM. So we've been working on this thing for a while. We're on about our sixth or seventh you know yeah, iteration six camshaft third block um, right. you know a few, <laughs> few things along the way not everything has gone perfectly but today we're feeling pretty confident and uh we're gonna make the run this this project got nicknamed or codenamed project spinal tap because one day i asked billy why don't we just calm down and try to only make ten thousand rpm and he said of course oh, this one goes 11 because it goes to 11 <laughs> right. so that's how yeah. spinal tap got its name we have no idea if we're going to make it or not, but we're sure going to give it everything we got. Yeah, we're we, going to take you along with us to right do it. Right now, so. the Spintron is actually programmed at 10 to 20. 11 to 20. 11 to 20. That's right. Right, 11 to 20. 10's boring now. We've been there so, so many times. Yeah. So we really feel like the electric motor is a 75 horsepower AC drive. It is going to take this motor to 11 to whether it likes whether it or not. Whether we want to or not. That's right. So yeah. this can be kind of fun. It's either going to be really cool, really boring, or epic so the crazy thing is like normally this is all highly polished and rehearsed and you know acted out and we know everything that's going to happen we don't this is 100 percent live as you're watching chris potter's on the handle over there and we're about ready to you about ready to do this chris yep. so at this point there's nothing else that billy and i can do it's either going to happen or it's not and we're taking you with us so i'm going to unplug and we're just going to hang on and see what yep. happens in the next couple of minutes so. listen this is going to be cool somebody brought popcorn <laughs> There's a lot of anxiety in this room right now. One thing we know for sure is we're going to 11, actually 11,200. about that that was way too cool there's no <laughs> fire no smoke no dent no well, all the awesomeness that was in the motor when it started appears to still be in the motor now so that's crazy that was 11,200 rpm yeah and like i would totally do that again with you <laughs> no i mean that thing's like almost boring i mean it's not doing anything drastic well so you know I, you have what 250 rpm yep uh excess on the dyno so when you put this in a real motor and give it a run you know, that next, was amazing. I mean, next step, let it go to them with pistons. For 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 forty or fifty years, Comp Cams has been the absolute heavyweight champ of cam development, valve train development. I think we just showed you guys why. I mean, that is absolutely incredible. I have goosebumps, honestly. Like oh. that was that was amazing. So, Chris, what did we get for the peak RPM? Do you know yet? Yeah. So it actually went to. You can zoom on the report here. Come over here. Three hundred and five. We just did eleven three oh five. Eleven thousand. 305. And five. Point RPM. two. That's right, point two. Don't leave that out. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you what. If you don't think that was cool, then you don't like cars. You don't have a pulse. That's just crazy. That was the neatest thing I've ever done, brother. I can't Dude, tell you how, how thank proud you I am you very this. much. I could not have done it without you. So I thank all of you guys that have been helping Woo! us, too. Real, that's a real deal right there. Now what? Uh, well, <laughs> that was pretty easy. <laughs> Uh, we'll have to come back and find something else to do now. That was pretty awesome. So hopefully you guys watching it heard it. 
saw it. Like that was the first time we've ever done that. Legitimately, yeah. you were along for the ride with us. So yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm glad we ate lunch before this because I'd have been thrown up. You know. Oh, absolutely. You know, so. Well, yep. I don't know. I guess we're going to go back to work and take it apart and look at it and see if we can learn anything else. But yep. uh, thanks for being with us on this uh, on this journey. It's been pretty right. awesome. Thank you, guys. See ya.